Hello everyone, welcome to Chuck's Guitar Geekery. Today I'm going to do something a little different on my channel. I'm going to do a shootout between two different pedals, and these are both pedals meant for metal. Metal, pedal, pedal, metal, shootout. Pedal to the metal, yeah. I'm going to do a shootout between the Boss Metal Zone and the Marshall Jackhammer. Now, honestly, these really are way different pedals, but they're both high gain and something that people looking for a metal tone might be looking for. So, the video isn't to say one's better than the other, it's more just to show you what the differences are. If this is something you're in the market for. They both can be found used for around the same price, but I will say the metal zone, I feel like you could sneeze and find one. Um, they're everywhere. If you have an uncle who played a Warlock guitar briefly in the 90s, he probably has a metal zone hidden in his closet somewhere next to his old Playboys in your grandmother's attic. The Jackhammer is not as readily available, but they are. You can find them online. I paid about the same price for each of these, so. I'm not really much of a metal player. I'll try to fake it. If anything, I'm more well-versed in the punk idiom than metal. But a lot of palm muted chugging. I can fake that. Um, I don't really have a heavy metal guitar either, so I have this Tom DeLong knockoff here, uh, but it has an Invader knockoff, which is the hottest pickup I have. From what I hear, some metal guys like that. And from here, I'm going through the pedals and the amp. I'm using a Mesa Boogie Studio 22 Caliber Plus on the clean channel, set relatively clean, and I have the direct out from that going into an impulse response of a Vintage 30 loaded Marshall 4x12 with emulation of an SM57 for the microphone. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so to my ears, I almost wish I had the EQ of the Metal Zone, but with the gain characteristics of the Jackhammer. That would make for a great pedal, I think, but because the Metal Zone is way brighter than the Jackhammer, because on the Jackhammer I actually have, I have the treble all the way up, and it's that much darker than the Metal Zone, and I have the treble you know, about three and a half or four on the Metal Zone, so... This was more for the sake of getting them to be somewhat even going through the same uh, clean channel without adjusting the amp CQs. Anyways, you can listen to guitar tones in isolation all day, but let's hear it with a simple little backing track of a uh, drum and bass. <laughs> There you have it, folks. Uh, like I said, I'm not a metal player. I'm not a shred guy. I tried. I'm more in the blues punk idiom. Anyways, uh, so that's the differences between these two. Honestly, I would take the Jackhammer over the Metal Zone. Um, Jackhammer, the actual gain on it sounded closer to tube-like, more amp-like. The metal zone gain really is kind of processed sounding to me, but the EQ is a lot more versatile on the metal zone, I think, so please be sure to like and subscribe, follow me on all my social medias down below, or if you just search hashtag Chuck's Guitar Geekery, you can find all sorts of stuff. Make sure you follow my blog at chucksguitargeekery.com. Until next time.